Widely regarded as the greatest JRPG of all time, Chrono Trigger is one of those games I always heard of but never really had the chance to get into until recently. Being a huge fan of Final Fantasy and pretty much anything Square Enix related minus Forspoken, this was a game I was always curious about. A few weeks ago, before the last Nintendo Direct, rumors of a remake were really ramping up. Instead, we got a remake announcement of Square and Nintendo's other long lost Super Nintendo game, Super Mario RPG. And while I am definitely very excited for that game, I'd be lying if I said the rumors of the Chrono Trigger remake didn't get me a little bit more excited. You see, when I say long lost Super Nintendo games, what I mean is that it is extremely hard to legally find a way to play these games, especially if you don't really enjoy PC or mobile gaming. Console wise, Chrono Trigger is only available on the Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, and Nintendo DS. The PS1 version gets a lot of hate due to longer load times, but it is the most accessible version, as PS1 games can be played on a PS2 or even a PS3. The Super Nintendo and DS versions are both extremely expensive these days, but due to the games being on a cartridge instead of a disc, the load times tend to be much quicker. Chrono Trigger was ranked as number one on a lot of different lists of the best JRPGs of all time, and as a fan of the genre, I decided to give it a real go a few months back. I purchased a loose Nintendo DS copy for about $100 Canadian, as I heard this was the best way to play the game. These days, I'm usually the driver when traveling, but I had the opportunity to be a backseat passenger on a recent road trip, and it was the perfect opportunity to really play my Nintendo DS again. So after finally playing Chrono Trigger, I can confidently say I understand the love it gets. Though playing it almost 30 years after its initial release, I've obviously played many games that have impressed me more. But with that said, Chrono Trigger is a prime example of a game that doesn't look that special from the outside, but really nails absolutely everything. This game was created by a JRPG production dream team, consisting of Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy, Yuri Horii, the creator of Dragon Quest, and Akira Toriyama, the author of Dragon Ball. That's literally the two biggest JRPG franchise creators and the author of one of the most popular and my childhood favorite manga. With that lineup, the game was bound to succeed. Now when I say Chrono Trigger does everything well, I mean it. It was really ahead of its time. The game features a 2D art style that has aged much better than the art style of a lot of other games from that era. There are no random encounters, which is shocking for a Super Nintendo RPG, as they were often used as fillers in this era to make the games longer. And the most wild thing about this game is you have multiple endings. Your experience with this game can be totally different than someone else's. A seasoned player can beat the game in way less than 20 hours, but you can easily find yourself spending a lot more time than that, especially if it's your first playthrough. Though I prefer the combat in Final Fantasy VI, the active time battle system in Chrono Trigger is awesome and not overly complicated. Combine all of these things I mentioned with a great storyline that perfectly blends medieval times with sci-fi, and Chrono Trigger's place among fans of the genre really starts to make sense. Again, it's simplicity executed perfectly on all levels. And really, who doesn't like a storyline based around time travel? It's also worth noting that at a certain point, Chrono Trigger becomes pretty much fully open world. And I know a lot of RPGs, even from this era, were open world, but I'm not talking about open world in the sense that you feel like you can go wherever, but really the game points you in a direction. I'm talking about open world in the way Breath of the Wild is open world. You can rush the completion of the game way sooner than you should if that's what you desire. Though, it will be extremely difficult if you're super underleveled. Now going back to those rumors of a remake or a remaster, and simply put, we don't need it. Listen, I'm all for the remake of Super Mario RPG. The art style looks awesome, and I'm so excited to finally give that game a try. But Chrono Trigger's art style really is timeless. Instead of a remake, why not just port the original? It still completely holds up and would take almost no effort on Nintendo and Square Enix's part. I just want to be able to play the original game on my Nintendo Switch, but at this point, I'll take whatever version I can get. So like the game Chrono Trigger, this video is short and sweet, and it's just a reminder that if you haven't checked out this game already, you definitely should. To help you with that, I'm giving away a copy for the PS1 that also comes with Final Fantasy IV. All you have to do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe, and a random winner will be selected in a month. 
Participating in the giveaway actually does really help the channel, and details are in the description. Now I haven't been uploading super frequently lately as I've been busy playing a lot of great modern releases, but expect reviews for all of them dropping soon. Until next time, take care and thank you all for watching.